Afternoon, driver. You should have a path south to Canforth. Have a nice trip. Your maximum speed is 60 miles per hour. So, we are in the Flying Scotsman. So, headlights on, reverse uh, to forward. Raise the brake. And the local brake. And let's get going. So we are at Plumpton up God's Loop. We are at Rinley Flying Scotsman and we have a class 57 on the end. I know on the real train it had a 47 on the end but I don't really have a West Coast 47. So this is pretty much good enough. So it's passing the up God's Loop. The speed limit is 30 miles an hour. And we have about 50 miles to Carnforth. Hopefully I won't have hopefully I won't run out of steam before we get to shot. Yeah, driving, driving a steam engine is a lot different from driving electric and diesels. Because you have to keep up the boiler pressure, otherwise you won't go anywhere. Also, accelerating in a steam engine is like accelerating in a car from high gear. I, mean, I don't know if that's true, because I don't have a driver's license. I assume that's what it's like. So let's say 15 miles an hour, we have a good boiler pressure. I think I might cut the video here and then resume to when we get up to a higher speed. We are now near Oxenholm, no not Oxenholm, Penrith. We're now near Penrith, we're doing about 55 miles an hour. Didn't take that long to get there. Well, the other class of flight is a powerful lock wide as it was designed for hauling heavy express passenger trains on the East Coast Main Line in the 1920s and 30s. So as we ascend to get, to get up to Shap Summit, I'll try and not run out of boiler pressure as I did on the first time. So doing a very good 59 miles an hour. The maximum speed of the train is 60. So we are following along train 1 Zulu 21, the 1520 Carlisle to Manchester Victoria service, operated by West Coast Railways. Coming at Carlisle, Plumpton up Goods Loop. Canforth down on the up Guns Loop, Preston, Bolton, and Manchester Victoria. So the real train left Plumpton 20 minutes late. Don't know why. Maybe other trains were late. Also got the display in the top left, so I can keep an eye on boiler pressure without having to use the large hood. So I just just before I recorded this video, I read an article about how the Flying Scotsman might not be on the main line much longer because today's trains are incredibly quick to accelerate, and the Flying Scotsman is nearly a hundred years old. So finding paths for a steam engine on the main line today is a very hard task, especially if you're using it on the West Coast main line. Nice route. We're now approaching Penrith for the North Lakes. The Pendo. A 
barely fits in the platform. So we're looking at the hood. Uh, yeah, it's very bumpy ride as we make our way through the Lake District. Trying to keep our speed steady at 60. Right, we're now starting to ascend towards Shot. I can't really figure out how to make, keep up our speed. That's my way. So we're going up a gradient of 1 to 1 to 5. Right, how do you keep your speed steady? I think calling it like this it should keep us at about 53. I think we're at steady 52 miles an hour. There's a 350 heading to Glasgow. I would use a P350 but that requires buying the Portsmouth direct line. And I'm not really interested in that. Also people say the frame rate crap. So we are now approaching Shat. Which means you have to climb up a bit more. I wish I had injected more water before we started climbing. Because our water is on 13%. Whoops. Looks like I'm holding a very steady 50 miles an hour. Maybe I should inject some more water. <clears throat> I mean, I know you shouldn't inject water on the mini climb because you just pumping in cold water to a hot boiler, but I have no other choice, because I'm an idiot. So, uh, this is Shap, not the summit. The summit is further up the line. What is in here? Oh, it's six, six. Yeah, I think that three fifty took over the sixty six at T Bay. There's a Freightliner ninety from Daventry to Moss End. There's a lot of containers. So water's on 10%. I'm not a very good steam driver, am I? I think this is the first video I've done on a steam engine. Driving a steam engine is fun, assuming that you can actually drive it. So we have about 33 miles left. I think we're go I think we're approaching Shap Summit, which means after that the descent should go downward which means which means I should be able to inject my water into our boiler so we don't end up running out of it. I think that's a game over if your water gets to zero. So we have now approached the summit as the gradient has now leveled off. Now and the gradient will be going downwards. So I can inject my water into our boiler, I can put the uh, pressure back up again and shove, in, and shove in more coal. So 
So put the, put the regulator back to zero, put the, put the cut off to 100, keep pouring in coal and in junk more water as we are going downhill. So if you want to try this scenario out for yourself, a link to a Google Drive public folder is in the description where you can download the scenario files and then copy them into your Railworks directory. An instruction file will be included so you, you don't have to figure out where to put stuff. So we're going down 1 to 70, which is very steep. So water's at 76%, 77%. And it's hard to level out. So I'll put our boiler pressure back up to about 205. Gonna do a bit faster. There we go. Put on the blower. That should get our boiler pressure back up. So I'll put that back to about 48 percent. Wait for our boiler pressure to rise. This is T Bay. To a five, to a six, to a seven. So we're holding a good fifty seven miles an hour. So 228 pounds per square inch of pressure in the boiler. We have 76% water in the tank, which is good. So we won't get a drought, or whatever the technical term is. I should know which motorway this is, but I've completely forgotten. Why is there a bus on the motorway? So this is Greyrick, where 390 R33 derailed in February 2007. I don't think any, anybody was killed. I think... I think... I think most people were injured. And somehow the Pendolino stayed in more than like one piece, despite it going like 90 miles an hour. So looking at the hood, we're going downhill, which means I can eject more water into the boiler. Driving a steam engine, it's a lot more fun than driving a diesel because it's more to do, and you actually have to like kind of like look after the locomotive so you don't break it. Yeah, it's a it's a nice footplate. Yeah, I like how they've added the AWS. Yeah, this, this bit. 
because I think most most steam engine DLC doesn't really have modern technology that steam trains that requires a have if they want to run in the main line like like a black box AWS TPWS and whatever else they need and it's and it's been amateur, of course because I think most steam engine most steam engines don't even have a speedometer. So water is at a hundred percent. So now I'll just let our boiler pressure go back up to about two hundred and forty pounds per square inch. We are now approaching Oxen Home for the Lake District. Where the line from Windermere joins. So the next station will be Carnforth in about 13 miles. I don't know how long this video will be because I'll probably just end up chopping it up even more. When I'm not really explaining stuff, so it's not like an hour long. So, Oxen Home Lake District. Turn the to pass through at 1702. The actual train went through at 1717. So, we're late, very late. So, we have about six miles to Carnforth, and there's a bit of a climb on the approach. So, we have 100% of fire and 96% water and a very good boiler pressure so we shouldn't have too many issues approaching Carnforth. So I don't think we should need any more throttle on our approach into Carnforth. So we have a singing alarm between which means we need to stop at the next signal. So brought our speed down to 15 miles an hour. We are now approaching Canforth Station, where the line from Barrow starts, or the Cumbrian Coast. So 0.4 miles to the next signal. So I'm crossing from the up main to the down main and then to this passing loop. Still on a bit of a gradient. So this is Common Force Steam Town. Yeah, I wasn't really sure what to put in it, so I just put in some black fives and a couple of voice sevens. And a uh, 57. What's a AWS RAM? Uh, I'm not sure, I don't think it's here. So the danger aspect is there. So bringing our speed off nicely. Like that, and arrival at Canforth. 
I'll couple from the train and shunt to down furnace goods. So uncouple. How has that failed? What? How has that failed? I have to go back and check it. All right, let's go. Denied. Why? What's that? Oh, then there's another bug with the scenario. Okay, let's just go anyway. If I can't see, it's not illegal. Oh wait, that's cars. Never mind. Yeah, I'll have another look at the scenario before I put it up on Google Drive. Probably just fix a few errors. So I got down here, shunt beyond the signal, and then reverse down the other passing loop into Carnforce Station. The speed limit is now 125. But I'm going to keep my speed at 15, because we're not going that far. So I'll put the brake to a lot higher than that. About seven. Seven should do it. Reverse via up, down, good, two, up. So release the brake and start reversing to camp off. So reversing very steadily, going to about 50 miles an hour. So after, fly after the Flying Scotsman has passed top, a 47 will come out and then haul the train up to Manchester. And that's a 350 that was behind us. I wonder where the fine Scotsman went after this. Oh yeah, I just stuck a few random vehicles in a siding that no one uses. Because I don't know where the fine Scotsman went after it did this rail tour. Probably went to the NRM or something. I wonder when the next Flying Scotsman Real Tour will be. There's a Voyager to Glasgow. Oh yeah, I have to also fix that book because those pair of voyages should have passed us a long time ago. So uh, the de our destination is in sight. What is wrong with my throat?
so this is the uh, end of the video. Was that a calling stage? Oh, it probably is a calling stage. I think it's one of the very few ones in the UK left. So this is the uh, end of the video. I hope you enjoyed me taking the Frank Scotsman over over chap. So thank you for watching. Follow me on Twitter for future video updates. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. I don't know what I don't know what will be though. So follow me on Twitter, so you'll get an idea of what I'm doing next. So arrival at Canforth. I wish they put the camera a bit further down.